do just weird. I'm doing just super weird. It's like I wake up. The first thing they talk about is Wilder. I'm like, man, I thought y'all ain't like him. Why is the first thing y'all tweeting when y'all get up is what Wilder doing? You don't see me posting about what Tyson Fury is doing. The first thing the UK do when they wake up is talk about Deontay Wilder. They're not talking about AJ. They're not talking about Tyson Fury. They talking about Deontay Wilder. That's crazy, right? For a guy they say they don't like, they sure do talk about him all the time. Oh, look at his legs, mate. I mean, I get it. They would be talking about Tyson Fury, but Tyson Fury is doing what you guys are complaining about for Wilder. He's not talking to no one. Tyson Fury is the one that's uh, turned off his social media. Only his team is posting on there. And that's one thing I didn't understand. How can you guys hate on Wilder for not talking to the media when Tyson Fury's not even talking to his fans? If he even has fans. I don't even think Fury has fans. Fury just has people who hate Wilder. So they just hop on his on his team. And here's the thing. What I love is people are now starting to... Um, Look into this fight and say, man, what if Tyson Fury don't win this fight? <laughs> Some, somebody told me today, he says, man, Art, man, you're convincing me that Wilder's going to win, bro. I'm like, nigga, no, I'm not convincing you shit. You know what the fuck is about to happen. Tyson Fury is showing flaws right now. He still looks like a fat piece of shit. And Wilder is looking like a strong black American athlete. He looks like a real natural athlete, lifting up 300 pounds. That shit got me ready to go to the gym. I'm about to go to the gym this morning after I smoke this real quick. But I just wanted to uh, step on here and say, man, Dillian White is a hoe and anybody that love him. Dillian White is so fucking weird, dude. That shit don't make no sense. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a special guest up in here real quick. Real quick. You guys, hold on. Give me one second. Let's see if I can get it guest up in here. Yeah. That shit's crazy, though. I be laughing because it's like, Dillian White, why are you Why are you still talking about Wilder, dude? Like, don't you got your own shit going on? Like, Tay Jones, man, send, send that. Send that uh, invitation, Tay. Send that invitation. Oh, shit. First of all, First of all where, 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 oh, look at that. See, dudes be ready. To, they can't They can't hang because once our man start putting on them, they be ready to give up, dude. I'm telling you, look, let me know. Let me know if you want to chop it up with me or whatever. But anyways, Dillian White is a weird motherfucker, man. Like, it's been years, bro. You're not getting a wilder fight no time soon, man. Like, you got knocked out by Pavekin, bro, and you talking shit. Bro, Pavekin had to take pads to get out of a fight with Wilder, and that's the dude who you got knocked out by. And you want to put your name in Wilder. Bro, as much as the UK dislike Wilder, they say they dislike Wilder, they know Dillian White not fucking with him, dude. They know Dillian White's not fucking with Wilder at all. Dillian White will get his ass knocked the fuck out, dude. He's having tough fights with Joseph Parker and shit. Tough fights with Chisora and shit. Like, dude, Wilder will ice these dudes out. Nah, Wilder won't get screwed, dude. What skew, man, what boxing school teaches you to stick your tongue out and get dropped two times? And the second time you get dropped, your eyes roll in the back of your head. What boxing school is teaching someone that? <laughs> Probably that boxing school in England. Man, fuck all that, all that shit, man. Wilder about to sleep, Fury. White's a hoe, man. Real shit. That nigga's a motherfucking hoe, dude. What's going on, brother? Hey, what the hell going on with it, bro? Shit, I woke up this morning, and I was about to tweet something, and the first thing I see is Dylan White tweeting about Wilder. I'm like, man, oh, no, who's really the Wilder fan out there? You know that boy gay, man. 
I, I never should, should we try to tell them, man? They always say we just be talking or whatever the case may be. They always say we be talking, whatever the case may be, but shit, everything the boy that man say. Nigga is. You know what I'm saying? That is his boyfriend. Come on, man. Like, come on. In America, bro, what what man you know gonna change their man they name to another man last name, bro? I don't care how cool he is. We ain't doing that shit. Hell no, that shit is fuck. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I never seen around no, no at all. No at all. But you got what I'm saying, bro. We don't like, we don't fuck with these guys, bro. In 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 the game like that, we don't fuck with these guys. We really just be chilling. It's a, it's a handful of guys that I, I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with a couple guys in the game like that. Just be chilling, can chop it up, call them, whatever like that. But other than that, man, we be chilling, bro. You know what I'm saying? We really don't even be, like, studying what the hell going on in the boxing world for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? We really just be chilling, bro. They like you, though. They love y'all. They secretly love y'all, dude. Man, listen. At the end of the day, we be chilling, bro. You know what I'm saying? They get, like, but I think, I think what they feel to realize is that over in here in America, there's more than just boxing. There's basketball. There's baseball. There's football. There's hockey. There's tennis. We got so much more stuff to offer when it comes to sports. But then when you over there, of course, all they got is uh, fucking soccer and goddamn boxing. That's all they got. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So it's like shit different. You know what I'm yeah, it's different. You know what I'm saying? We got so much other shit to worry about, but they worry about the. It's like they worry about the wrong thing, though. You know what I'm saying? They worry about Wilder's leg, but Fury got two ham hocks hanging off the back of his back. Of course, but at the same time, shit. At the same time, but listen. At the same time, when you hear Vander Holyfield talk about things like that, they don't question him. Yep. So they didn't even quote him. No article even quote him. Uh, no Michael Benson. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, they never, but you they know, but, him, they ain't quote but they Robert Garcia either. But they not gonna do that. They not gonna do that. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't want to. So I'm saying, if you if people sit back and really see how the game goes, they be like, "Damn, it's fucked up out here." You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling these dudes, like, man, this is America. This ain't no fairy tale ass world. Shit happens when it's money like that involved, dude. We talking about life changing money. Man, everybody, of man, course, listen, man, man, folks. Like, like I say, I, like I tell everybody, the proof be right in front, right in front of you. It's up to you to do your research. And that's what, and that's what I did, man. And that's why they look at me like a genius. I sat there and like I said, "Fuck what Eddie Hearn and we talk about." This is what's really going on. It's common sense. Oh, yeah, they can't be mad at you for that. They, they, they can't be mad. That damn self, man. At the end of the day, the shit was never gonna happen. I just wish they just come out and say that because there was nothing in place. Nothing was in place. Nothing was in writing. Anything like that. The only person who may have signed anything was Joshua, and that's only because he's with Eddie Hearn. But other than that. And nobody signed anything, bro. That's the crazy part about it. But Bob and Bob, the, Bob, Bob left goddamn Eddie Hearn looking stupid as hell. Because at the end of the day, guess what? He knew that there was a, he knew what was going on. Everybody knew. So like but my first interview quoted him. This interview quoted uh Eddie Hearn said John Wilder's not a problem. He's only ten percent of a problem. I remember that. That's like I said before. Like I said before. That racist shit, bro. The racist when you feel like you can just do whatever you can, you just have power to do what the fuck you want. Nah, it don't work like that, bro. You know what we call that? Where I'm from, we call that the "I'm white and I say so." There's no logic behind it. I'm white and y'all got to know what I say. Don't even play. Right, for for us right now, man. Listen, for us, Uncle Sir. All I know, we got this trilogy on the way. Yeah, why? People, like that. Live, People don't even know. There's a lot of stuff that people don't even know. They, be, they better be worried for fear, bro. Man. And that's what I'm telling. I, last couple of days, people been asking, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I'm like, bro, if I were you, I'd be praying for fear because 
every there's a reason why my father would tell him to throw away his belt and return back home, come back home to mama. There's a reason, bro. Man, my, it's my pops, I show my listen, pops. Yeah, yeah, my pops I, 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 I don't even listen to his dad. I, ain't no reason to listen to his dad. His dad said some boot, said some dumb shit last time. You know what I'm saying? Talking crazy about his life and all that stuff like that. So his pops worry about his son. And that's what we're saying. It's like, dude, it's like, dude, all his whole history is telling people that, um, you know, Tyson Fury may not be 100% in this fight. He may be back. It's like, why would they be telling you stuff like this if they don't know what's about? Why they not? Gonna- Man, that's all, it's all a facade. All, all, they manipulate everything. What people don't know is. They'll say they'll they'll tell you Fury six nine Fury really not six nine Fury six seven. Yep. That's what, but he's he does everything manipulated. Manip- I, 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 his, I, I, his, his, he he wear big ass he wear big soles to make him look tall. I, you know what I'm saying? Make big t- make the soles to make him look tall. He wear a hat just to make him look like he's just the tallest motherfucker ever. You know what I'm saying? Like everything he does is manipulated, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything. I heard somebody. He can't actually message me. And he t- it's funny because he told me to tell you guys. He said, "Man, tell Tay Jones and them that Tyson Fury is really not six nine. And I was like, "When he, when he told me that, I was like, oh, "That's kind of weird. What you talking about? Are you trolling?" And then here you say, "No, nah, damn, bro, what the fuck? I guess that shit's true." Yeah, man, come on, bro. Like, there's a lot of things that I know. I just don't say anything about. You know what I'm saying there's a lot of stuff that I know that I just don't say anything about. A lot of stuff. Who do you think, a lot think of about stuff. people like Robert Garcia coming out and saying, now admitting like, oh, man, I think something's wrong with Wilder. Who do you think about stuff? Well, shit, that, 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 that's, I mean, shit, you know, it is what it is. Motherfuckers be knowing, bro. Like I say, motherfuckers be knowing. Robert Garcia was one of the ones that was on the other side at first. Now everything abruptly changed. Man, a lot of people credibility window, bro. Real shit. Yeah, but well, it's all good, man. We ain't, we ain't studying that shit. I don't really shit, bro. We ain't studying that shit. But how does it, how does it feel <laughs> knowing that potentially this is going to be a history changing fight? How does it feel being involved in? It ain't even about being involved. It's about being on the right side of history. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm on. I see. Um, he won't win the fight. Right, you know, they ask me bro, they, I the- think what they don't know is, bro, he's so he's up he's um he's up under so much scrutiny. You know what I'm saying? But people don't. I'm not gonna talk about it. But the public don't know that, so they'll be fucking mad if I said what I was gonna say. Bro, I, motherfuckers I, like that yeah, nigga stay in his fucking place. Let, At the end of the day, like I'm saying, I know Fury won't win. I know that for a fact, Fury won't win. Let me know if I'm if I'm telling the truth or not. Is Tyson Fury worried about his financial situation with top rank? Yeah, yeah, he worried with that shit. Shit, you gotta understand that he's man, he's so much in the hole. But see, they'll tell you, they'll tell you Deontay Wilder can't sell, right? Yeah. They'll tell you. They they say we don't talk about if right? we don't know what the fuck if is. Right. Stay in your place. But uh, like I said, um, um of course he worried about the shit. You gotta understand, bro. He had what four fights with them guys? Well, two fights with them. And they didn't sell any fucking thing. But they'll tell you Deontay can't sell, right? They'll tell you Deontay they want the public to feed food that he can't sell. But then they'll say, uh, here come Tyson Fury, da 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 da. Bro, he's in the fucking red with Bob. So it didn't it don't it won't matter, bro. He didn't sell shit for that fight against um who was that? Uh Who's that? Uh, Tom Sports, Otto Wallen. Uh, yeah, those two. He didn't sell anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sell anything. He's totally in the red, bro. There wasn't nobody in them, that fucking, them fucking, oh, shit, them fucking stadium seats. What do you think about some of these guys like Andre Ward and Tim Bradley constantly throwing our brother Deontay Wilder under the bus? Like, well, shit, uh, Do you think that uh, was an opinion or just nope. something that they're being paid to say? Both. They, bro, at the end, they can say what they want to say. 
He was the same one, you know, uh, Andre Ward was the same one who said he was scared to fight Ortiz the second time, right? No, I think he said that about Wilder, right? That's what I'm saying? Yeah. He said he was scared to fight Ortiz for a second time, right? Yeah, he he sure did say that. He was like, yeah, he don't want to do that again. And what'd he do? Did that shit again and then beat, dropped his ass dramatic fashion, right? Yep. So, but like I say, none of these, bro, some of these guys, they hate what they can't be. Mm. A lot of these people hate what they can't be, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the end, you just all you all you do is let them talk. You let God handle them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You let you let God handle people like that. You know what I'm saying? I understand that you got a job to do. You got to persuade the public and things of that matter. But ain't Andre Ward the son of God? That's what I'm, and that's what I'm saying, dude. You know, you, I can read people's body language. The way Andre Ward was looking at Tyson Fury when he came on that stage, drunk as hell. Forced to sign that uh trilogy paperwork, I could tell he was looking at him in total disgust. And it's like, dude, how can you look at this man like this and then come on TV and say, "Oh man, I'm riding with this guy." Wilder just he just needs to do this and do that. That's just crazy to me. I don't, I can't understand. Listen, listen, this shit would be over in four rounds. <laughs> I said first, man. I said first round on Joe Lewis, Max Mellon shit. Uh, it'll be over in four. In four? Yeah, definitely. Man, y'all brothers about to make Bro, you know what I'm saying? People, people saying, when about stop it? Shit. He couldn't even stop him last time. What the fuck is people talking? That's, that, that, that's the shit that be getting crazy to me. People got to keep in mind, this nigga only got four complete knockouts. Complete. Yep. That's it. And these people act like we got amnesia or something. I still remember... Fury fans was telling Fury, I don't think you should walk Wilder down. I don't think you should walk Wilder down in the second fight. You remember that? Because they, they they knew he didn't have no power. So they was telling him, dude, you should just box him like the first time, but don't get caught. Yeah, but then they, they also said he can't fight on the back foot. Ain't that what he hurt Ortiz with the first fight? Ain't that what he hurt Spiller oh, with? Oh, okay. Oh. Just, you know, but, but people, you know what I'm saying, when they don't see – what's the word I'm looking for? When they don't see – um. Damn, what is the word I'm looking for? Well, they don't see when they see a, 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 a unorthodox fighter. Yeah, when they see a, a, a see people look for the thing about it, people look for boxers nowadays. Well, you got some people who's just a straight up fighter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like like Tank, Tank Tank is a fighter. Tank yes, Tank can box, but he's a fighter. He gonna if if it's time to end the fight, he gonna go end it. Yep, he know how to turn that switch on. Only a few fighters. some people. Some people just gotta turn. Some people just gotta switch. That's it. I think Bud Crawford has that as well. I just my thing is one thing, and I, one thing that I can truly say about Deontay, he never had to take any PDs. Never. He never had to. He had. He never had to manipulate gloves. He never had to do any any of those things. You know what I'm saying? He manipulate wow. his glove. He gonna catch that body a lot quicker. And, and, and then like, and then like. You know, Andre Ward, he beat a lot of people off skills. You know what I'm saying? But I just found it funny when he said that Shakur Stevenson was born. But you go back and watch a lot of Andre Ward fights, a lot of those shits was born too. It's, so it's you crazy. know, people always it's people crazy. always criti- people always criticize somebody else without looking in the mirror first. Mm. That's why I don't, I don't I don't criticize nobody, bro. Mm. I don't criticize nobody because at, at any given day, and especially on any given day, anybody can win. You know what I'm saying? You seen what happened with Pavekin and fucking Dylan White. That shit was crazy. And that's why I'm like, why is White even, even talking, dude? You lost to... I, I won money out that fight. I won, I won money out that fight. So I'm forever grateful. Guess what? And we're talking about the same... We're talking about the same Dillian White who's scared to fight Lewis O.T. Man, not, bro, none of those guys want to fight Lewis O.T. None of them. It's, I, sometimes I sit back and think to myself, like, damn, Luis Ortiz really only got... I mean, I know he got two losses, but both of them losses came from one person. Nobody else. Nobody, nobody, nobody else want to fight him, bro. Bro, I just... I just I just uh, talked to Lewis Ortiz uh, people this past Saturday here in, the, um, here, in the, uh, here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, shit, crazy. You know, I don't even think Andy Ruiz won the fight, bro. I don't 
I mean, you see how people put, you see how people put things in the chat, but at the same time, you know, nobody has some shit. Dude, he don't believe. You know what I'm saying? I, I've always been told to stay in a child's place. There ain't nobody talking. Bro, about. they don't believe it, and they gonna be sitting there in Manchester while we at the fight, watching history take place. You know, and being on the right side of it. We gonna see these guys, these guys. They just sit here. They really be fascinated with our culture, with the stuff we do, all that, dude, man. They wondering, you know, when uh when Malik Scott was wearing that shirt, they was really inboxing me like, dude, how did you get? How did you do that? How did you do that? I'm like, man, I thought y'all don't like what I stand for or what they stand for. So why are you even talk talking to me about this shit? Right, have you ever had more thing? You know what's funny to me though? Yeah. It's when well he said we just discussing I think only two people talking. <laughs> yeah, it don't even like we discussing. We just talking. If you wanna listen, that's fine. These dudes be thinking that we get off on this shit. Like I make money doing other stuff. Painting right, pictures. Right, right. Not on live. Man, shit, I just hit for two thousand last night, man. Shit. He don't even, Cud don't even know me. Nobody shit. I'm just, I can show you how to make some movement. I can I can show you how to make some money with that head movement, though. <laughs> mm. So I can show you how to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But nah, man. Oh, what I was about to say, uh, everybody got their opinion. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their opinion, but everybody's opinion don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, man, this should be over in four. In four, right? But I just think, like I say, it's just so, it's just so many, uh, it's just so many eyes that's being put into play. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, ain't no Marcellus, uh, ain't no, uh. Nah, no that's a pipe, guy. that's a pipe dream. Dang. He said he interviewed Wilder. He probably interviewed Wilder a long time ago, but he probably, he definitely can't get an interview. So I interviewed Wilder. Uh, this is everywhere I ever met. It's crazy how y'all can say, y'all could praise Wilder, but in the same. But look though, look though, look though. It won't be no Tommy verse of, uh, Tommy verse Marcelo's, you know what I'm saying? But what it can be, it can be Tay Jones versus Luke, uh, 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 Isaac Luke, uh, Lowe. It can be that. Now, y'all go tell Isaac Lowe. Y'all go tell <laughs> Isaac Lowe. Uh, I found out he was the second person who had Ed Weights and his gloves at that camp too with um uh, with um uh, with my with my guy, Nicholas Asbury. So he was the second person. So he ain't free from none of this smoke either. Isaac Lowe can get this smoke too. Wait, you said that guy yeah. he was in the gym with uh Nick Asbury? Yeah, Isaac Isaac Lowe, um Isaac Lowe and uh Fury, both of them both of the niggas when they was had, when they was sparring, both of they both of them had eight weeks in their gloves. Oh uh, shit. Both of them. Yeah. You know, so I want I want I want that smoke with Isaac Lowe too. Somebody go get his little bitty ass so I can drag his ass across the ring. Man, <laughs> them dudes you know what I'm saying? When when it comes fight night, man, them dudes gonna be real quiet. They gonna leave the building first, man. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. They probably gonna be the last ones. I don't gonna... I don't I don't I don't think um I don't think uh I don't think uh what's his name? I don't think uh what's his name? I don't think Tyson Mike Tyson would have can beat Fury only because Mike Tyson never beat he never beat a um Mike Tyson never beat a, a top ten opponent, you know what I'm saying, with a top three. You know what I'm saying, in his career. So I don't, I don't think Mike Tyson could beat Fury. Man, I mean, and, I'm, and I'm saying, like I say, like I say, bro. I and the crazy part about it, I, 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 don't, I really never even talk bad about Fury. You know what I'm saying? Other than he, you know, a drug cheat, he's a cheater. You know, in the sport of boxing. But other than that, you know, in the fights that I have seen where everything was on the up and up, he can box. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. This is a uh, something I I thought of the other day. Let me ask you, Tay Jones, if you would have known about all the stuff that Tyson Fury was involved in prior to this Wilder fight. And if you knew he was like a shape, like let's just say if somebody gave you his resume, his background history, you know, showed you everything. Would you, um, would you guys would have did things differently? I mean, uh, you, th you got to think about it though. You know what I'm saying? He was off for a whole, he was off for a whole year. You know what I'm saying? The same thing that Deontay did for Louis Ortiz, get him a shot and make some money, help him get up off his ass. You know what I'm saying? But D, D the type of person 
D, D ain't scared to fight nobody. You know what I'm saying? He gonna help you out. You know what I'm saying? So he's, he did the same thing for Luis Ortiz. Luis, Luis Ortiz popped dirty. Hey, man, listen, get yourself together. Come clean this time. We can still make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing that he did with Tyson. I remember I remember the days that, you know what I'm saying, he used to talk to Tyson behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, listen, man, get the weight off, Get you know what I'm saying, come back, do your thing, I'll give you a shot. You know, the same thing, though. You know, that's just the heart that Deontay has. It, at that point, it's not about boxing. It's about helping the next fighter because, as you know, it's, it's, it's hard to eat. You know what I'm saying? But, thank, you know, thank for people like Deontay, you know what I'm saying, help Luis Ortiz out. Like I just, like I told you, I seen his people the other day. You know what I'm saying? I seen his people the other day, and he was just, and they thanked me. And they was just like, "Yo, your brother, man, he good dude. He really helped Luis Ortiz out when nobody else wanted to help him out, and he was just pretty much trying to save his daughter. You know what I'm saying? Who was ill? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's just that's just the character, but people don't talk about that, and that's cool. It's fine. They don't have to. You know what I'm saying? But now I don't think it'll be anything different. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand. So if if you know if this person over here struggling need to come back. And they still young. They can get things done. They can get in the ring. Shit, why not? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rather, or rather, what happened? Not you already being uh, banned for it. You know what I'm saying? You already in the in the, in the uh, in the, uh, threshold. So shit, let me help you out. We can make this money together, win, lose, or draw. But shit got to be on the up and up. And we already see that. You know what I'm saying? He's the type of person. He's not a stand-up guy, you know what I'm saying? He 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 definitely a dirty dirty person. He definitely a cheater. So it's I mean it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Who wins uh, Joshua Usyk? Man, that's a tough fight. That's tough. That's, a tough, I'm, that's I'm, a, I'm tough. gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I think I think Joshua won. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I, I I want Joshua win, but it's a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna sit here and act like. Uh, like, I just don't see certain things with Joshua. See, now Joshua got, you know, Joshua definitely uh, will have the, the bigger, the, the better advantage because of his, his size and the, uh, his uh, um, his size, well, his size and, he you know, he's been at the heavyweight division. And we can't, we have seen that Joshua can punch. We've seen that as well. But at the same time, now Joshua, the last two fights, you've seen Joshua try to box more. But I think Joshua just stay on that line too much. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, we seen what happened with him and Andrew Ruiz. And then you, then you see Usyk, you know, you see the fights that Usyk has. He's a boxer. So if you got a boxer versus a boxer, who's the more experienced boxer there? You would say Usyk. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the more pure boxer. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't say Joshua is definitely pure, but he definitely has the boxing ability. But Usyk, Usyk is definitely more of the boxing pure boxer in that in that situation so we got a boxer going against a boxer we want to see how those things plan, pans out but my but, thing is i think joshua was just too big for him man he got he got power but, but I mean, size don't, joshua see, man, power. People don't uh, size don't matter bro you seen that this past weekend with taking barrios that's true but if you know how to use it man i mean you know Bro, he gotta he gotta be able, gotta be able to be if if if, 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 if is barely barely there to be hit, that's a different story. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, there's a reason why there's a rematch clause on this fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I uh, I'm like I say, I I'm definitely going with Joshua. You know, like but see, the thing is, bro, people think like it's it's bad blood between us and Joshua. And it's really not because we got people. Uh, we got definitely got one person from my camp who's uh, who hangs out with Joshua, and then at the same time, you know, uh, whenever I do call, you know, I, I might be able. To, I might talk to you know KD, which is uh, Joshua right hand man. Um, I even got. I still got the picture when me and Joshua was on Facetime before he fought Andrew Ruiz. So like I said, we ain't no bad blood between us. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's just. It's the fight game, you know what I'm saying? So people hype it up as it's just beef. But there ain't no real black bad blood or anything like that. But it's just that, you know, we hate that the first go around that it didn't happen based off, you know, you know, Eddie being in the way and telling Joshua what to do. Eddie's and but see, you don't you don't on on our team, we don't have that. You know what I mean? So it, it's a little different. But I definitely want Joshua to win that fight. Of course I want Joshua to win that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I talk to those guys all the time. They good people. 
don't get me wrong, they're definitely good people. You know what I'm saying? Joshua, Joshua and his team, they're definitely good people, bro. And I can I can I can really say that with genuine heart. You know what I'm saying? It's ain't no no bad blood or anything like that. You just you just want to see that fight happen. You know what I'm saying? So somebody said in, in interviews it seems like Wilder hates AJ. Listen, man, I'm not answering no questions. I, I'm not here for interviews. I, like I just said, I, I, what I just tell you, I said, it's the fight game. People. It's the fight game. It's the fight game. You know, right, I, you I know, I understood that, but you know, it's just some people that's gonna look at this and be like, I don't know. But, but people, man, listen, man, look, listen, listen, listen. People can have anything. People can have any and everything to say. Yeah. I haven't lied about anything I said not name one time. Yeah. But hey, listen, I like I said, I'm not here for an interview. I don't talk to people who I don't know. So that's that's just hey, what no, it is. I, I, can res- I, I can respect that. I can respect that most definitely, man. I'm about to be at that fight. I know that for sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody, I can't that, wait to meet somebody you, bro. like, "Art right, man, how come how come Wilder and them didn't give you a ticket?" I'm like, "Bro, I'm a grown ass man. I'm buy my own damn ticket." What are you talking about? Man, ain't, no, ain't nothing in life free. <laughs> <laughs> ain't but you know, that free. was just some hated stuff because they like they just seen that you know. That I'm able to be in contact with you brothers and stuff like that. They really be hating on that shit. It's like, dude, why y'all mad? I thought you said this dude ain't nothing. Bro, it, it, ain't, it ain't about that, yeah. bro. It's more of just, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know, we got we got people in our camp who's who's people person. Yeah, people. Real people. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think people get the term uh people's champ messed up. They do. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, you know, at first, you know, before I say people started publicly just want to talk bad and things of that nature. Everybody was riding the coat then, you know what I'm saying? But once you see a defeat, then you got the most to say, right? Think about but, it. All of Wilder, when he beat Ortiz the second fight, everybody was showing him praise. Now, all of a sudden, in the next couple months, y'all just completely turn your back on him and he should quit boxing? That's why. Hey, but listen, when you, when you, when you got – a gift that nobody has ever had in the history of the sport. Of course, bro, they want you gone. You know what I'm saying? They want you gone. They want you. I, but you know, we don't, man. Listen, <laughs> we don't worry about that type of stuff, bro. You gotta understand, bro. Like, every I can wake, I wake up every morning, bro. Look at this lake, chill, mm. enjoy, chill. Don't let no squares in y'all circle with fight night, dude. Because I already know. What's why everybody going to hear y'all dick to go backstage and shit? They, I mean, they won't be able to, bro. Mm. They won't be able to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We won't be able to. She's just, you know, from July 24th and beyond, man, boxing, I feel like it's going to change for the better. When it comes to that, man, people who keep it real. Man, I just can't wait, bro. I, I, like I said, I just can't wait because I I know what I'm seeing. You know, each and every day, I know what I'm seeing. Shit. Um, but um, you got to think about it, bro. When somebody comes out and gives you their best, and you can't take them out at your best, at your best, and he's at his what they say worst. <laughs> and he's still. You know oh, and there's a picture. There's a picture of Wilder and Fury. It's like the ref kind of breaking them up in the second fight. And Fury looking at Wilder like, you could tell he's looking at him with great concern. Like, why is this guy still up? And Wilder's still looking at him like, man, let's let's keep it going. And you can see in the picture his legs look wobbly, but he still says, you know, you can still see in his facial expression, let's keep it going. And to be honest, if I was a cheater and I knew somebody, I, there's only a reason why they could be so confident coming into that fight because they knew for sure the, the circumstances Wilder was going to be under. Yeah, I just want to see yeah. how he performed. With, I, I, just see, I just I just want to see how that man performed when everything is tied tightly. Can't fly nothing down. You know what I'm saying? When they're all the eyes on, on, on you, you got to go through a couple of tests. So, the fear I just want to see. Sure, I just, out of Wallen, go get his... I, imagine that theory shows up. Man, listen, like I said before, and I think Evander Holyfield said the best, you just don't see a guy 
who fights like that a previous fight, fights one way a previous fight, and then come and fight like completely abandon all your skills. Completely abandon all your skills, and then on on on, on the other side, our, our, our the other fighter pretty much gets stopped. Wish that that Otto Wilder fight should have had, should have been stopped. You know what I'm saying? Definitely should have been stopped because of that because of the cut. But then the way he fought that fight, then come back and fight another fight and look to- like totally completely totally different. different. And he, you know what I'm saying? He so, looked yeah. bigger in that fight, dude. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. People can't people can't say anything about you know he just worked on this, bro. I mean because at at the end of the day, him and Sugar Hill didn't work nothing but three weeks for that fight. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's why I think that's why that's how I know they got the public food. Yep. You know what I mean they didn't work. They didn't work. But a whole camp with each other at all. But my you know thing is the industry, dude. I know you do. I know y'all know, man. I I literally listened to Andre Ward say you can't perfect your stamina in one camp. You know you got to do certain certain things. Like he was explaining how he had to build up his stamina going through multiple camps. And I'm like, dude, if you understand that, why are you sitting here believing that Tyson Fury all of a sudden got one punch knockout power? <laughs> like, dude, like, who do you think, bro? We not stupid. I mean, these other dudes are stupid, but I'm not stupid, man. Come on, bro. That, that's all I'm saying, dude. But man, I'm gonna be at that fight, brother. I can't wait to see you, brothers, man, perform, dude, for sure, man. Yeah, I'm be, I'm be chill, I'm chilling the whole week, man. Hey, I'm you know what saying out there, bro. We got be out on the strip the whole week, just chilling, man. I, I've never been to Vegas before, so this could be my first time out there, dude. Got to show me around or some shit. Oh, you ain't never been to Vegas before. I've never been to Vegas. Before. So this is like a big experience. Like it's like a calling, dude. I'm telling you because I just woke up and I'm like, man, let me buy this ticket, dude. I don't even care. I'm gonna just drop. I'm gonna spend all the bread to get it. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, the man, I, uh, my- that's going to be like, let's go that's going to be that's going to be uh what's the word I want to use that's going to be uh it's going to be fun bro you know what I'm saying I can't wait more than more than likely I'll be at the, the uh more than likely I'll be out at, at the sports book all day oh, okay you know what I'm saying okay. betting on my games winning me some money you know what I'm saying shit put me on man I'm trying to make me some dough too man <laughs> <laughs> so bring you, some, bring you some money. I have you a couple picks. Yeah. You know what I'm I have you a couple picks. Put you some money on some guarantee. I will put you on some guaranteed locks. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed locks get you some money. We need some money while you're out there in Vegas. But that's what I do when I go out there. Though, if we, if we, you know, uh, we, we definitely won't be doing a lot of media this time. Just go around. So uh, that's cool, man. Yeah. Oh, got yeah. we, and I don't blame you, man. They really sat there and told our. Bro- that he depressed, and that he should just quit. And the biggest fight in the world should be held at a fucking desert. Bro, right, if I if if I was depressed, if I if if I was, you know, what's the word? What's the word I want to use? Um, if I was him, oh, I, shit, and the way he living and the way he doing things, I wanted to be, de- I wanted to be depressed too, bro. <laughs> shit, bro, you gotta understand when you wake up on so many acres of land. And Pretty much have a Michael Jackson never never land out in, in your yard. You got you, you know got a saying? fucking gun range in your basement, man. I was, shit, it ain't even about it. Ain't even at the, it ain't even. The I mean, you got a gun range at the top. You know what I'm saying? You got the basketball stadium. You got the boxing the boxing gym, and that's pretty much almost finished. You got the you got the, the go kart. You got the racetrack. You got the sand pits. You got the